Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The nation is aware that uh, only a few days ago, The opposition, led by the Patriotic Front, came up with what they are calling United Kwacha Alliance. The opposition came up with what they are calling United Kwacha Alliance, which is an alliance, as we have been told as citizens, that is meant to amalgamate the opposition together to face the UPND alliance in the 2026 20, general elections. We would like to place on record as government that we welcome the formation of the United Kwacha Alliance. This is a living testament that the democratic space in this country, Zambia, is ever widening. The creation of this United Culture Alliance is an indictment that the citizens of this country are fully enjoying their freedoms, particularly the freedom and right to freedom of association. We therefore want to take this opportunity to indicate that government will not stand on the way of the United Culture Alliance in its formation and registration processes. For as long as they meet the legal requirements of the land, we as government have no interest whatsoever to halt the progress of the U UKA in their tracks. So they can go ahead to register their party and the party in government has no interest whatsoever other than appreciating that the democratic <clears throat> space in this country is widening. We are also happy to note that this particular political party alliance comes in at a time when the same people who are forming this party have been alleging shrinking democratic space in this country. And quite contrary, their own actions have shown that the democratic space in this country is expanding because actions speak louder than words. We we'll recall that from 2016 to 2021, it is very difficult to recall any political party ever registering itself, there was none. Because of the hostile political environment that was so toxic that citizens would not conceive an idea of forming a political party. Barely two years of the new Don administration, in office, political parties are at liberty. Citizens are at liberty 
to form themselves into organizations such as the United Culture Alliance. We want, therefore, to urge all the members of the United Culture Alliance to be ambassadors of goodwill to the peace that is reigning supreme in this country and also to be ambassadors of goodwill to tell the nation and the international community that the democratic space in Zambia is ever expanding as evidenced by them weekly holding press briefings, going to various media houses to speak their mind, share their opinions, and also to assemble themselves in the manner that they have now done as a political alliance. We want to state that we are happy with their coming together. Maybe now they can begin to consolidate some ideas which they can use <clears throat> as a measure for checks and balances to government. The way they have been this far, we have had a situation where literally there has been no real and reasonable opposition in this country. So it is only fair that they came together because as individual political parties they were not a formidable force whatsoever because after all those political parties the majority of them are made out of individuals without a following the united culture alliance comprises the patriotic front and individual members calling themselves presidents of political parties. Outside the patriotic front in that alliance, all the other political parties do not have even a single councillor countrywide. Zero. So how can they call themselves political party presidents coming together as an alliance? This is an alliance of patriotic front plus individuals who many of them in the general elections of 2021 performed dismally to drive the point home if you remove former president Edgar Lungu here and you put the rest of the political party presidents Put them together, all those who stood in 2021, add their votes together. Me, as member of parliament for Choma Central constituents, I got more votes than all of them put together. So I'm a bigger alliance myself than all those outside patriotic front. So the point I'm trying to drive home is that other than patriotic front, the rest have no mandate from the electorates whatsoever. They are on their own. <coughs> now, here is what I'm putting to the public and placing on record. That whereas we do commend the United Culture Alliance in information for coming together, we actually note that the real thing behind the United Culture Alliance is that finally Patriotic Front has managed to rebrand itself. The so-called United Culture Alliance is not an alliance. It is rebranded PF. So, United Culture Alliance, in real terms, it is PF United Culture Alliance. That is PF trying to hide behind a curtain. Because they have realized 
that Patriotic Front as a brand name is tainted with political violence, is tainted with divisive and hate speech, is tainted with tribal talk, it is tainted with corruption, it is tainted with maladministration, it is simply a non sellable brand. They therefore had to come up with a way of disguising themselves as though they were not the ones by calling individuals who have no following and said, we are now forming an alliance. A number of those people, when you look at them, you can clearly see that they are just being used by PF. They are being used as political doormats for the patriotic front for it to dust itself of its tainted history. So they should not cheat anyone that there is a new political force in Zambia. There is none. It is the same old wine in the same old bottles. Nothing will change in the trajectory of the politics of this country by the formation of this so-called alliance. We want to call on them, particularly our colleagues in the former ruling party, to come out in the open and say this is PF rebranded. They will have more decency that way. In the light manner that when we went to the elections of 2021, we knew who the major player was. We said it's UPND. Then other political parties joined what was then called and now is still called UPND Alliance. So this United Culture Alliance is a PF Alliance. That is it. We also note, interestingly, and the citizens noted yesterday that this grouping of individuals now called an alliance yesterday shielded the former president from exposing his lack of vision for this country by telling the media to say today all questions should be addressed to the one who is uh, addressing not, not to others because they knew that the media are interested in the former president because he is a man of consequence he is a leader of this country he is tested as a leader and he has failed the test so they say no don't ask questions to others, just ask the one who is addressing you. Because they know that last time he engaged the media, he fumbled big time. When you, the media, asked him, under the circumstances of the issues you are complaining about, given that these issues of debt restructuring, you were the ones who contracted this colossal debt, what would you have done if you are in office? He said, no, I'm not in state house. Ask each it. Now, what type of opposition would that be which does not offer alternative policy programs for the citizens? And we are well aware that after that briefing, his colleagues roasted him. Say, how could you answer like that? So yesterday they had to shield him. No, don't ask any other. Ask the, the officials. We are also aware that whereas <coughs> Mr. Sakura Scotta may be fronted as the chairperson or interim chairperson for that alliance, the president or presidential candidate for that alliance going into 2026 20, elections has already been chosen. It is former president Edgar 
Chagua Lungu. That is already settled. Because he's a man behind that idea. He's a major funder. So, let them come out in the open to interact with the citizens on these issues. But the main point is the alleged shrinking democratic space yesterday. Among the two things I want to address this morning. And I think now the nation knows that the opposition has run out of ideas. The opposition cannot engage this government on policy issues. They have no issues with policy of government. That is why they are dealing with politics. So this call or claim and assertion that there is shrinking democratic space in Zambia should now come to an end. We are calling on the opposition to bring down this curtain of jokes. We have a country to lead and we do not intend that we should be paying attention all the time to side shows. Let them engage government on policy and let them provide alternative policy issues to what government is presently doing. We want to reiterate that decency dictates that this opposition led by the patriotic front if it had any modicum of decency is supposed to shut up over debt restructuring because they are the cause why we are here and all their surrogates who are saying stop referring to the patriotic front because they are out we are here to say we shall not refer to them anymore if only we are not confronted with the consequences of the bad decisions they made while they were in office. We shall continue. There should not be anything special about the previous administration. Dear colleagues, you, you remember last time I told you that when I was in grade 4, there was a question. What made Zambia's economy to slam in the mid 70s I found that question in first year at university same question and the answer was political interference among us, the, the answers so what makes PF a special group of people that they cannot be mentioned after all the mess they left the country today we are faced with a difficult situation where when you promise to recruit 3,500 teachers and recruit 7,500, there is an outcry of many that remain unrecruited and employed. And what is the problem? The problem is not this recruitment process or how it is going about. The problem is because for many years, government institutions and private institutions have been channeling out graduates into the industry without commensurate job opportunities being created by government and industry. You now have a government that has embarked on a very robust manner to try and ensure that many young people are employed in government within the resource envelope to be able to put them on the payroll. Then you have this opposition which has nothing to do. Every day calling press conferences. Calling press conferences. We are calling on them. Right now there is a by-election in Mansabom. Let's go and meet in Mansabom and not press conferences here in Lusaka. So that we see what people on the ground think. We want to appeal to the citizens of this country not to be swayed by this opposition which has run out of ideas. Every day, politics, politics, politics. We are calling on the opposition to give President HH space to address his mind 
to dealing with the economic challenges of the country. And that is why I'm here. I know that there could be people there, out there, who are saying, you are always responding to the opposition. That's my job. So that President HH can do his job as well. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.